Hello friends, how are you? Welcome to Japan Study Center. Today we are going to see the chapter of geography and what is our topic today? Uh, earth as an interior and it is a material. There is a most important chapter arrived at geography. There is a first point arrived here is the earth as an interior surface. There is a most important earth as an interior. And then it is not possible to know about the earth as an interior by direct observation because of it is a hug their size and the changing of nature of it is a internal compositions through this mining and the railings of operation we have been to able to absorb the earth as interior directly only up to the depth of few kilometers the rapidly increasing in the temperature below there is a earth as a surface is a mainly responsible for a settings or limit to direct observation inside the earth the temperature in the earth is interior as a so high that can even to melt any tools used after drilling. And this fact also is respect as a deep drillings, thus causing a hindrance to be direct observation of the materials of the earth interior. Here the most important show there are uh, the concentrated tricks of the John of the showing the layers of the the earth as an interior fish. There is a most important show here. There is a first here is a lithosphere and the shell is a hundred kilometer as and depth is a forty five kilometer. There is a most important there is a show here C one C one means a liquid outer core and the C two here a solid inner cores. There is a arrived of one thousand four hundred twenty kilometer there. There is a most important here diagram showed in this chapter. The next topic is the most important here, the structure of the earth as an interior. There is the most important here topic arrive. The above diagram is in she shows there is a concentrated layer of the earth interiors. There is a innermost layer is surrounding the earth is a center is called core, which is about a 3500 km in a radius. Core is the most is a dense layer of the earth with, with it is a density range from to 9.5 to the 14.5 and sometimes even higher. It is a composed to the mainly of there is iron and nickel, thus the commonly is known as the knife. The knife means to nickel is a ferrums and the core consists of the two sub layers. The inner one is a solid, means C2, shown in the figure and the outer one is a semi liquid, means C1. The layer is surrounding the core is known as a metal or rock cell, cell about the 2,900 km things and and it is a composed to the basic silicate and the major constituent as the element of mantel and the magnesium and silicon and then there is a layer is the terms as a, as a sigma is a silica and magnesium there is sigma there is a two element is a combined here or silica and magnesium the density of the layer is a varies from to 3.32 5.7 metallic in there is surrounding by the outermost layer of the earth and known as the lithosphere and is a dense city is a various from 2.70 to the 2.95 the major constituted element of the lithosphere are silica there is silica means si and the aluminium is a al thus this is a layer is a term is a cereal there are cereal means a silica plus aluminium there is a first two words are here cilia there is the most important silica and aluminium. The outermost part of the lithosphere is known as the crust. There is the outermost of the part of the lithosphere is known as the crust. Normally about to 8 to 40 km is a thick. There is the most important here word around this box. The core, mental and crust are the three main is a concentrated layer of the earth as a interior. And the core is the innermost layer and has to the highest density. It is made up to mainly a nickel and iron. The mantel is a layer is a lining between two the core and lithosphere. It is a major constituent of the silicon and magnesium. That is the most important, the silicon and magnesium. Crust is the outermost layer of the earth and is a mainly is composed of silica and aluminium. There is a mainly composed of here silica and aluminium. This evidence along with the melting lava aperture from to the earth as an interior support that a temperature increasing to about to the center of the earth. 
the difference observation showed that the rate of increasing of temperature is not informal from to the surface to about to the earth as center it is a faster the some place that is the other in this beginning the this increasing at on average rate of the zero celsius so every is a 32 meter increasing the depth there is a most important point here there is a 32 meter increasing the depth there is a 1 celsius is increasing of the temperature there is a most important and at the such as a constant rate is increasing temperature at the 10 km depth the temperature will be x approximately is a 300 celsius and at the 40 km depth it will be a 1200 celsius there is a very amazing here and the most important at this rate is the earth interior should be a melted state yet it is not so because the rock is bearing under to the pressure of the several kilometer thickness of overlying rock melt at the higher temperature and then similar rock at the surface a blastoatic lava rock is which the melt at a 1250 celsius at the surface will be melt at a 1400 celsius at the 32 kilometer depth there is a most important the extra heat required for the melting in the produced by radioactivity it is a result of the breakdown of the atomic nucleus of the mineral emitting retained energy in form of heat from to rocks the behavior of the earthquakes above is another evidence of this phenomenon the further is a confirm that it is a composition of different layer it is a variable as it is the rate of change of temperature will in the upper 100 km is increasing in the temperature is at the rate of 12 celsius per km in the next 300 km it is a 200 celsius per km but it is only 10 celsius per km below it thus the rate of increasing of temperature the bend there is surface decreasing to about the center the temperature at the center is estimated to last of somewhere between to the 3000 celsius and 5000 celsius such a higher temperature inside the earth may be due to the chemical reaction under to the high pressure condition and degradation of radioactive element The next is the pressure. The pressure also increases for the surface to about to center of the earth due to the and the weight of the overlying rock. Therefore, it is a deeper portions. The pressure is a tremendous high. The pressure near to the center is considered to be a three to the four million times the pressure of atmosphere at the sea level. At the high temperature, the material the beneath will be melt to about the central part of the earth. The the molten is a materials under to the tremendous mass is a pressure condition require the property of the solid and it is a probably is a plastic state. The next area is a density due to increasing the pressure and presence of the heavier material to above to the earth as a center the density of the earth as a layer also goes on increasing. Absolutely, there is a material of the innermost part of the earth are very dense are already started. Is a materials of the earth as a crust. There is chapter here a earth interior and it is a material. There is a most important topic arrive a materials of the earth as a crust. The outermost part of the little sphere is called crust. Is known as there is the outermost part of the little sphere is called crust. There is a definition of crust. the outermost layer of the lithosphere is called crust and this is the most significant part of the earth because it is a occupy the humans it is a material is a crust is a made up a rock the rock are different types they are hard like is a granites soft like clay and the loose like a gram there is a rock has a greater variety of the colors and bed and the hardness there is a most important there is a different types of rock there are granite soft clay and loose like a so graphs there is the most important and the also is important here there is a great variety the color weight and hardness the rock are is composed of minerals there is a aggregate or physical mixture of one or more minerals and minerals on the others are hard and they are made up to the two or more element in the defined ratio they have a defined to the chemical composition crust is a made up to more than 2000 mineral 
but out of these six are most abundant and contribute of the maximum to this uppermost part of the earth and these are flat spur scotters and merosenjens and apple ball and mica and the olivine the granite is a rock and it is a constant of the minerals bonded together are quartz feldspar and the mica which make it is a hard rock change in the ratio of this mineral minerals give rise to the granite of different colors and hardness the minerals containing a metal are the called metallic mineral there is a hematite a major iron ore is is a metallic minerals ore is are the metallic minerals which can be a profitable mine the rock are is a eminence are economically important to us there is come the most important topic arise here a types of rock there is a part of earth as a interior and it is a material chapter there is a types of rock the rock are differ in there is a property size of particles and mode of formation there is a most important rock has a differ in there is a property size of the particles and mode of formation and other basis of mode of formation rock may be a grouped into three types there is a most important three types here ignosis sedimentary and metamorphic there is a most important three types the first here ignosis rock the ignosis rock is a ball ignosis is derived from the latin word means ignis mean of fire there is a most important the ignosis rock here the latin word is ignis mean of fire ignosis rock here formed by the as a cooling of highly heated molten fluid materials as a known as a magma there is a most important the rock here is formed by the cooling of highly heated molten fluid materials is known as a magma there is a magma is a formation of ignosis is a rock The word is a magma is derived from a Greek word which means a drop. It is a require a great quantity of the heat to the melt the rock under to the overlying pressure and then at the surface. We do know not now there is exact a depth at which is the magma is a from but probably it is a formed at a different depth not exceeding is a forty kilometers. The molten rock is a produced in increasing in a volume, which is responsible for a causes or fractures or rock cracks in the crust. There is the most important here. The overlying is a pressure gate of big end. Along this is a opening, thus the forcing out the ma magma through them. The otherwise it can or escape due to the great overlying of of pressure. There is the most important here, and where the magma is a ejected to the surface is called lava there is a most important lava when the magma is ejected to the surface it's called lava ignosis rock are formed from a solidified molten magma below on the earth surface as there is a compress the earth is a first crust and all other rock are derived from them and this is called to the parents of the rock it is a primary rock there is a most important here what is a primary rock the as the compress of the earth as a sur first crust and all other rock are derived from them and these are called parents of the rock are primary rock in a simply word all the rock can be as a describe as a ignosis or origin because at one time to another there were the erupted to the surface a younger series of the ignosis rock is, is still began formed about a 95% of the volume of outermost of 60 km of the earth is a composed of them and these are the largely hard and massive because of their uh, magnetic origins and are crystallizing in appearance there is a most important here this is largely hardened and massive because there is a magnetic origin and crystal lining is appearing on the base of their mood of the occurrence is the ignosis rock can be classified as a exclusive or volcanic rock and intrusive rock there is a most important here there is a first here extrusive ignosis rock are formed by cooling of lava on the as a or surface there is a most important there are extrusive ignosis rock are formed by cooling of lava on the earth surface as a lava cool very rapidly on coming of the hot 
entirety of the earth the minerals is a crust crystal is a forming this rock are very fine there is the most important and this rock are called is balcony rock the volcanic rock there is the most important and gabbro and the basalt are the very common example such a is a such a rock and this rock is formed is a volcanic area and decays is a plateaus or regular soil in the india is a dry from lava the next important area are interstices of igneous rock are formed when the magma solidifies below the earth as a surface the rate of cooling below the earth as a surface is very slow which is a give rise to the formation of large crystal in the rock there is a most important area interstices igneous rock and the deep seated or uh, interstices rock are termed as a plutonic rock there is called to also is a plutonic rock and shallow depth interstices rock are the term is a is a hypo vessel then the granite and there is a dolerites are common example of interstices rock the granite and dolerites there is a common example of interstices rock from and this is a point of view therefore igneous rocks can is occur occurrence when there is a mode of formation there is a most important there is a igneous rocks can be accordance with their uh, mode of formation and be are classified as a plutonic and hydrovessels and volcanic rock masses there is a most important is a three point the has is a is a blocks of the core is grand natics and rock are found found both is a himalaya and deccan plateaus deccan plateaus there is a most important that important here are is a diagram of igneous rock here there is a most important diagram the craters excessive rock intensive rock and dax magma plutonic rock seals and there is a basalt this rock there is a most important diagram show there is the igneous rock here there is a figure is a most important and it is a illustrate of the magma or the cooling produce a rock of the different shape and size and depending on the space are available after it is a force itself into the crust the common form of inter interest seeps of igneous rock are both lactics and silica and dangs etc the basaltics are hulks and there is a massive or solidified magma they vary in the size some as a much as several hundred kilometer across and thousand of kilometer of thick and they generally form the core of the major mountain as shown in the diagram and their regular domes and shaped roof and sometimes appear on the surface after the erosion of million of year there is a most important and seal is the horizontal intervections of solidified magma between to the layer of pre exciting rock and that is a similarly is a more or less vertical formation of few meter to the several kilometer in the length and form few centimeter is a hundreds of meter in the thickness the one the basis of a chemical property here igneous rock are classified into acidity and the basic rock there is a more, most important acidic and basic rock and these are formed as a result of solidification of acidic and basic lava the acidic igneous rock are composed of 65% or more of silica and these rocks are light color hard and very strong granite is example on the acidic rock and basic igneous rock is contain less than 55% of silica there is a most important is a 55% of silica there is a most important acidic igneous rock are composed of 65% is more of silica and have more of iron and the magnesium this rock are hard is a dark color and big enough for the weathering and gabbro and basalt and the dolerite example of the basic rock igneous rocks are formed by the solidification of the molten materials called magma or lava there is a most important point here in the box the igneous rock are formed by solidification of the hot molten materials called magma or lava and extrusives or igneous rock are formed by cooling of lava on the earth as a surface is a bus was salt and gabbro there is a most important and next year interstices igneous rock are formed by 
सॉरीफिकेशन ऑफ मैगमा बिलो देयर अर्थ एज अ सरफेस इज अ ग्रेनेट द नेक्स्ट एड इज अ सेमेंट्री रॉक देयर इज अ मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट दिस इज अ रॉक आर फॉर्मिंग बाय द सक्सेसिव टू द डिपोजिशन ऑफ सेडिमेंट्स दिस सेडिमेंट इज अ मे बी अ देवेस इज द एरोडेड फ्रॉम एनी इज अ प्रीवियसली एक्साइटिंग रॉक एंड व्हिच मे बी इग्नोर एज रॉक द मेटाफोरिक्स एंड ऑल सेडिमेंट्री रॉक इज अ सेडिमेंट्री रॉक्स हैव द लेयर्स आर सर्टिफाइड स्ट्रक्चर The thickness and the strata there is a various from to few mill millimeter to several meter. So these rocks are also called dolomitic rocks. And generally, these rocks as has some types of fossil between their strata. There is the most important there are fossils, and the fossil is a solid parts of the impressions of prehistoric as animal and plant embodied in the strata of sedimentary rock. Sedimentary rocks are widely spread on the earth surface. But is a slowly dipped. The invisible rock is the particles are first broken from rock and then transported by their running water. The ocean sequence is a glacier as even by wind from one place to another, and the process by which a rock of forming material is a laid down to is called sedimentation. Yeah, depositions. It may shed in the clamma. Is the water is a lake or ocean at the place where to the transporting agent has no longer enough energy to carry them to the further and this is a identify is a river rains as a lost streams and formed by lake the glacier and the rollins is a formed by the wind and sedimentary rock with with a reference reference to the is a deposition near to the river lake and glaciers are dissolved specifically there is a most important here the sedimentary are often loose is a unconsolidated a soft rock material in the beginning like a sand and the clay but in the course of time they get a hard rent to be a compact materials by excessive as a pressure and sedimentation from a sedimentary rock this deposition of cement in there is a beginning in a generally horizontal but it is maybe get a tailed after what it due to the moment in their earth crust and some stone is a shale is a limestone and dolomite are example of cementy rock the cement sediment is get stored by there is a transporting agent and sediment is a different size maybe get bonded by the cementing a material under suitable condition Coulomb is on the example of such as sedimentary rock there is a most important this types of formation of consolidated the material stem to the mechanically is formed the sedimentary rock the consolidation of our organic matter derived from the plant and animal from the sedimentary rock of organic origin coal and limestone are organic sedimentary rock and the sedimentary may be also result from the chemical reaction and direct Respirations of mineral from there is a solution in a water may be give rise to the sedimentary rock of is a chemical origin and gypsum rock is a salt and nitrate is example of such a sedimentary rock. There is a most important example gypsum and rock salt. There is a has fault. It is a mountain of the world like Himalay and the exterior of there is a made up the sedimentary rock. The Himalay is a made by the sedimentary rock. All the alluvials is a deposit of the world are also due to the sedimentary as a accumul accumulations and the all rivers the best scenes are particularly there is a plant and deltas as a endo is a Ganga tree plant is a Ganga Brahmaputra delta and good is example of sedimentary accumulation and the most impact here are in the box sedimentary rock are formed by successive deposition of sedimentation. The sediment uh, and this is rock have to layer a structure and therefore they are also known as a solid fill rock. The fossil is a solid part or impression of the prehistoric and animal and plant. Imagery to sedimentary rock is which they are where well, there is the most important. Next is a metamorphic rock. There is the most important and last rock. There is a metamorphic rock. Most rock is a mountainous is a reason as show on the evidence of change. All this is a course of time become a metamorphosis as a chain formed to the rock and metamorphics is the rock are formed under to the influence of heat or pressure on sedimentary or igneous rock and tenderness is a pressure and the high temperature change to the color hardness structure and composition of all types of pre-existing rock 
and the process which is a bearing about the change is known as a metabolism and the ultimate is a pro product permit due to the operation of such as a process are defined as a metamorphics is a rock. The temperature, pressure and stress assessed to the chemical is a reactive substance or their main agent which are the responsible for the metamorphism and the heat cause of minerals the, as a recrystallizing into the rock. There is the most important here recrystallizes in the rock. The process of the change by the heat is called thermal or contact metamorphism. And when the molten magma and lava Lava come into contact with the surrounding rock. It is a back and them to the change and them into the metamorphic rock. And similarly, the formation of the metamorphic rock due to the tenderness of pressure is known as the dynamic or regional metamorphism. The salted is the genesis and split is a mark. Marvelous and diamonds are good example of metamorphic rock. The metamorphic rock are hard and tough. Is there a comparison to the parents rock and from which is they are formed? Example of metamorphic rock are given in the table 2.1 with there is a parent rock formed which they have been to form it. Here so this is the most important here a table parents rock and is a metamorphic or change form. Name of the rock, types of the rock and name of the metamorphic rock. There is a limestone, there is a cementary rock but there is a marble. And dolomite is there is a cementary rock and their example of rock is a marble and sandstone is a cementary rock and quartzite and the shell is a cementary rock and slate and slate is a metamorphic rock and splitted and cast and gold is a cementary rock but is a graphite and diamond here is the name of the metamorphic rock. The next area is a granite, granite signals rock and the genus is here and the phyllite is the metaphor rock and schist. Different types of meta metaphoric rock are found all over to the world. In India is a marble is found in the Rajasthan, Bihar, Madhya Pradesh, various solid and available in a plant in Orissa, Andhra Pradesh and Haryana. In a Kangra and the Kuman is the regional is a male, solid is a different color or font. There is the most important here point metaphorix is a rock are formed by the effect of heat or pressure on sedimentary ignorance or even metaphorix rock. And thermal metaphorism is a process by which is a rock undergoes the chain as a result of great heat. And dynamic metaphorics is the modification of rock by the thermal pre pressure during the extensive earth movements. Important question arrive in your mind the economical significance of rock. What is the here economical significance of the rock? There is the most important question here. The man has been interacting with the surface of the earth since the long. With the time and the advancement in the technology and the making of different use of the rock and mineral. The important of rock is given below. There is the most important. What is the important for the real rock? There is the most important value of economics. There is a rock at the first point here of soil. Soil are derived from the rock. Soil provide to suitability for the agriculture product that are provide to food from the mansion and provide to raw material for many industries. There is the most important here economical value of rock. There is a soil. Soil has there is a agriculture productivity. That is also important. And the next here a building material. The rock are the source of types of building material and there is a direct indirect industry. There is the most important. The direct indirectly there is a building materials and there is a granite, genus and, and sandstone marvels. And so there is extensive of use of construction of building. Example, you know that? Taj Mahal is a made of white marble. In from Agra and the red for it in Delhi, there is a made by the red stone. There is a sandstone, there is a most important, the red sandstone. There is a most important slightly are used for the roof purpose and different part of India. There is also important here. You know that granite, granite and the sandstone, marble are slightly extremely are the construction of building material. Taj Mahal and Red Fort has example. And next here, the use of the mineral resource of, of important economical importance for the rock here. It is a mineral resource. 
the mineral are the foundation of the modern modern civilization metallic mineral provide all metal ranging from a very precision gold platinum and silver copper and aluminium and the iron there is a most important here and this metal are obtained from different rocks there is a most important here there is a silver copper and aluminium and the gold there is obtained from the different rock and the next year raw materials is also important contain rock materials and minerals are used as raw materials for many industries example cement industries and the limestone calends different types of rock and mineral are used to production of the finishing goods and the granite is also used in the scrapiums and pencil manufacturing as a raw material you know that there is a most important the granite and use of the crucible and the pencil manufacture of the raw materials there is a raw material is the most important for the industries and the cement industry and limestone other and the next year because of stone the because of stones are metal are obtained from a different metamorphic and igneous rock there is a diamond is a precious stone use a jewelry and the metamorphic rock similar to the other precious stone like a gems rubies and the spanners and obtained from different types of rock there is a also important you know that jewelry is uh, uh, made by the different different rock there is a metamorphic rock a different different color there is a make of jewelry diamond and the produced stone and there is a most important here the next year fuel you can fuse that the fuel are used for the rome is a rock there is impossible but here is important the fuel in there is a for, form of coal and petroleum natural gas and nuclear minerals are derived from a different rock you know that there is a fuel is a form of coal you mean petrol natural gas and nuclear minerals are derived from the different rock and the fertilizer you are also confused fertilizer use of rock economical purpose there is impossible but here is important the fertilizer fertilizer are also derived from to some rocks is a phosphoric fertilizers are obtained from a phosphorites minerals found into a bound in some part of the world there is a fertilizer use of the rock there is a most economical value here and the most important part here the rock and minerals are main source of all metal precious stone solid fuel and raw material from uh, industries there is a most important for the economical value of rock here uh, what is the weathering there is a most important topic here what is the weathering the weathering is a general term is applied to be combined action of the all process that case a rock is a disgrained as a physical and decomposed chemical because of uh, expose or nearby the earth as a surface through the element of weather there is a most important what is the weathering the weathering is a general term applied to the combined action of all process that cause a rock to the disintegrate great of physically and decomposed of chemical because of expose or near the earth surface through the element of weather among these is a element temperature rainfall frost fog and the ice are important ones there is the most important the weathering is began as a soon as a rock come in the contact with the one or more than one element of weather on a surface of the earth in a nature generally both are disintegrations and decomposition act together at a same time and assist each other be most or remember that is a weather is a material a disintegrated and decomposed lies in the situ at a original position in this process no transportation or movement of material is involved other than it is a fall down under to the force of gravity there is a most important there is a material is involved other than fall down to under to the force of gravity in short there is a most important the weathering is a process by which expose rock and disintegrated and decompose in a situ there is a most important short line in their original position you know that weathering is a process by which is the expose rocks are 
disintegrate and decompose in a setu the setu here there is example there is a original position the next important here are types of weathering there is a most important topic arrive a types of weathering you know that what is the types of weathering here we can recognize the three types of weathering the physical weatherings chemical weathering and biotic weathering there is a most important here physical weathering and chemical weathering and biotic weathering the first here physical weathering there is a most important here physical weathering what is the physical weathering here when the rock are broken up into a smaller fragment without any chemical change in there is the compositions and is called physical weathering what is the physical weathering here when the rock are broken up into the small fragment without any chemical change in their composition it's called physical weathering you know that the term is a mechanical of weathering is also use of physical weathering there is a term mechanical weathering is also used by the physical weathering physical weathering can take place in different way in different types of area the physical weathering a take place in a different way in a different types of area there is a has been expanded here with example let us say so there is example the first here is a block disintegration there is a most important example block disintegrations we all know that is a successive is a heating and cooling cause or expansions and contraction of the rock you know that as a cooling and heating there is a change of the weather directly suddenly of the cooling and suddenly is a heating there is a cause of the expansion and the contraction of the rock in a hot or desert region day temperature are very high well the night are very cold there is example of rajasthan there is a temperature is a very high and night is very cold there is a high diurnal range of temperature cause of is a successive expansion and contract of the rock which tend to the enlarge their this joint finally the rock is disintegrate into small block this process is known as a block disintegration you know understand a block disintegration there is a temperature suddenly is a day is a high and the night is cold the rock here is the break down in a small block there is process here a block disintegration this show the diagrams of block disintegration is the most important joint are the open both by front action expansion and the contraction for the rock you show that and the see now the next here exfoliation there is a exfoliation is most important here the rock are generally poor conductor of heat the rock are generally poor conductors of heat as a result of intense of heating the outer layer of the rock expand rapidly well their inner layers of the mine almost unaffected by heat due to the successive expansion and contraction the outer layer of the rock is subsequently a pill of the form of main marks of the rock in form of concentric cell the pellings of rock is a layer by this process is very similar to the peelings of successive layer of onions and this process is called exfoliation what do you mean to exfoliation here the peelings of rock in a layer by this process is a very similar to the peeling of successive layer of onion and this process is called exfoliation the almost all the rounded form of dolerite its block of rock in there sandblom and district of bihar are due to the process the granite domes of the mahapallipurams and particularly is a krishna kal raju and was a nera jabalpur and the madan mahal hill are good example for the exfoliation there is a most important example here is a mahabalipuram is particular is a krishna ka laddu there is a most important year nearby the the jab balpur on the madan mal hill are good example for this process here the show the pillings of the 
लेयर ऑफ द रॉक देर इज मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एयर अलार्ज बल सोइंग टू द ब्रेक अप एंड द एक्सपोर्नेशन प्रोसेसिंग एंड सेक्शन इज व्यू ऑफ द सम ब्रॉडेड इज मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट हेयर डायग्राम शो दिस The next here is the force action. There is the most important, one of the most important physical weathering process is the called climates in the force action. The alternate is the freezing and the melting of water inside the joint of the rock, split them into the fragment. And this is because a conservation of the water into the ice, increasing the volume of water by ten percent. In cold region, rock are disintegrated. into the small particle through the process and it is called frost action there is a most important here a forest frost action the frost action is example here show in this diagram the water collect in the crack of rock with that she here a uh, water collection of the rock is a crack rock And the temperature is zero Celsius. Water turn ice, which is a cup of ice. The large volume and thus the crack the enlarges. There is a crack here. First time is a very small, but secondly is a very large crack in the rock. There is a most important example show in this figure. Their main point arrive here a disintegration of rock into small fragment without any change in their uh, chemical composition is called mechanical weathering or yeah, physical weathering there is the most important the rapidly heating and cooling of the rock is a create a series of joint and the crack which is the land to the break up into the smaller block this process is known as a block disintegrations there is the most important and also important there a weathering process which is the outer layer of the rock fell out in the uh, concentrated cells due to the difference of temperature in the outer layer is called exfoliation there is a most important also and the bre breaking up to the rock due to the freezing of water in the rock and joint and crack is a very cold reason is called frost act there is a most important topic arrive here a chemical weathering there is a part of types of weathering there is a second part of chemical weathering the chemical change in the rock through the formation of new compound of formation of new substance called chemical weathering you know that chemical change in the rock through the formation of new compound or formation of new substance is called chemical weathering chemical process include oxidation hydrolysis and acid acid solution there is a most important here three types oxidation hydrolysis and acid solution decomposition of the rock by chemical process with the help of water and atmospheric gas is called chemical weathering there is a most important here decomposition of rock by chemical processes and with the help of water and atmospheric gas is called chemical weathering the chemical weathering involve four major process the first here oxidation what do you mean to oxidation you learn to the science chapter oxidation in 10th class there is oxidation this is a process which a atmospheric oxygen reaction with the rock to be a produce oxidize the process is called oxidation you know that repeat here or uh, this is a process in which atmospheric oxygen react with the rock to be the produce oxidize and this processing is called oxidation the greatest impact of this process is absorb on a ferrous mineral and the oxygen are present on humid air react with the iron grain in the rock to form of yellow or red oxidize of iron and this is called rusting of the iron the rust is a decomposed rock completely with the passage of a time there is a most important and next here carbonation there is a carbonation is important for the chemical weathering the part and this is a process by which is a various types of carbonate are formed there is a most important the types of carbonate are formed here are carbonation processing and some of this is a carbonate are soluble in water there is a soluble in a water for example when the rain water containing 
कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड पास थ्रू द फिर वी यूज लेमन स्टोन रॉक देयर इज अ मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पर वी यू लेमन स्टोन रॉक द रॉक इज जॉइंट इन द इनलार्ज ड्यू टू द एक्शन ऑफ कार्बोनिक एसिड यू नो दैट देयर इज अ लेमन स्टोन रॉक द रॉक जॉइंट इन लार्ज ड्यू टू द एक्शन ऑफ कार्बोनिक एसिड द जॉइंट इन लार्ज इन द साइज and the lemon in the remove in a solution and this types of breakdown of rock is called is a carbonation there is a carbonation reaction and next here hydrations the hydration here this is a process by which a water is absorbed by mineral of rock what this is the process by which water is absorbed by minerals of the rock and due to the absorption of water by the rock the absorption of the water of the rock its volume increase and grain loss their shape there is the increase of volume and the grains are lost their shape is a phase for for example is a change into the kaolin through their hydrations kaolins and vindhyala hill near a jalwalpur has been to form in this manner there is a most example for with the hill there is an important and next year solution this is a process which the sum of the mineral get are dissolved in water the dissolve in water they are therefore remove in a solution the rock salt and gypsum are removed by this process there is called solution is a chemical weathering next topic here are a biotic weathering there is a most important a uh, biotic weathering have also done by the physical weathering chemical weathering and the next year biotic weathering the biotic weathering is a carry out of the plant animal and the man there is a three factor is a main of weathering in the biotics here the first year of plants the plants are contribute to the both is a mechanical and chemical weathering the roots of the plant upon trade into the joint of the rock and they grow longer and the thinkers in the manner they exert a pressure on the rock and the rock joint are the thereby are enlarge and break into the smaller fragment there is a most important here here show the diagram of effect of vegetation on the rock there is a most important example show here a rock is a plant in large crack joint to the rock in their show in the diagram and the show has joint and the as the root is a grow into the joint the open up there is a most important here a break down to the rock in a plant the next here is a animal there is a most important here a browings animal like a earth bomb rat rabbit termites and the ant breaks down to the rock this disintegrated as rock can be easily to the eroded or removed by bin and etc how will this animal break the soil and thus the excess soil erosion the role of earth bomb and the termite is the special significance according to the scientist there is a possibility of the occurrence about uh, 1 lakh 50000 earth bomb in acres and they can convert to the 10 to 50 tons of the rock mainly into good soil and bearing into the surface there is a most important here uh, the animal or the bearing there is most important and the next here uh, the man the man is the most important the human beings play a very important role in a weathering of various rock the man break breaks a large amount of rock in the course of their active like agriculture construction of the house road etc and he quarrels for the mining of minerals thus the help the weathering by breaking and weakening and the losing the rock there is a most important here and there is a most important fact there a point and arrive biotic as a like a plant animal and man also contribute to the physical and chemical weathering there is a most important point here the next topic is the most important here of weathering and soil there is a most important here weathering and soil we have studied their process of weathering and have learned how to different types of land feature and produce a 
area of different types of climate through this is a process weathering also play an important role in the formation of soil which is the provides a basis for the agriculture and world as a food supply mechanical weathering and the surface rock and disintegrate the rock of the converted it a into a fine powder and these small particles are deposited deposited is a layer with the help of the water biotic weathering is a produce of humus and the organic matter is formed through their action of plant animal which help in the formation of soil the various process of weathering help the giving a different color and property of soil Now, right, this is the most important topic here: a gradation. What do you mean by gradation here? A uh, exogenetics is a force are constantly working to the varying about the leveling or gradations of land. They attempt to achieve a con condition of balance between two erosions and the depositions, which mean a graded of position. That is the most important here. Graded into the position, and they have a force operate. Or through the area, the process is called a process of gradation. You will understand the work force operate through the process is called to a process of gradation. There is a between to the balance and erosions and the position meant to the gradient of position. That is called to the gradations. An agent of gradation like a river, glacier, wind. she wave and underground water perform their task with the help of the triple action of weathering erosion and deposition there is a most important here the gradation air agent is a rivers glacier winds and sea and the wave and ground water there is a limits down to the elevated to the portions of the earth a surface is a done by the erosion and the filling up to the depression in the done by is a deposition of the eroded or material transported by external agent of gradation is a is spoken earlier we have studied that is a is a endogenetic force of the earth give rise to the major land form on the earth surface and exogenetic force leave them done that is the most important here the work of gradation has a two component there is a first here degradations and aggradation there is a most important here component of gradation is a degradation and aggradation there is a most important here the first here uh, degradation what do you mean to here degradation when a rock are removed by the scraping scratching and cutting as a result of the process of erosion and thereby the lowering there is a variation of land it is called to the degradation you know that what is the degradations there is a scraping scratching and cutting or result there is a process of erosion that is called degradations and degradations are first of all include the work of weathering that is the moment of scraped and scratched material added by the great force of gravity and it is also include the work of erosion implying the transportations of the rock material by an agent of gradation and the increasing is the moment of the rock debits increasing of both is a original and transportation capacity there is a most important the next year aggradation aggradation here a filling up the flow lining area of depression by eroded of material is called depositions and deposition is a start when to the agent of gradation lose their force or have your obstructions in their way as a result is the eroded material is a deposited in the depression which not only creates new land form but also is a modify the exciting swans show here figure here to show there is a process of gradation that uh, shows the clear upland where down to the land due to the erosion is a degradations and transportation here at the base of level and depressions here uh, is a back side and uh, aggregation is a filling up to depression by deposition there are two process in here a gradation is a most important show in this picture 
Let us now look at the figure. It is explained the total process of gradation and it is a two component of is a degradation and aggregation. There is a most important here. There is a different only D and A G. There is a gradation, degradation and S gradation. It is shown that as elevated to potential constantly is a begin lower by both rings and where then there is a derivative of the cons Systems of their uh, eroded material in transport and deposited in the low lining area, and the surface of the lower area on the other hand is arise to throw their deposition of these debris is a uh, finally their deposition of a uh, uniform or near uniform level is achieved. The process of gradation is not uh, performed by a single agent. It is a rather result of work of all the agent as a gradation acting acting the estimulation is it is a low however possible for a single agent of gradation to be more active in a particular area or at the particular time. The one here is important point is here a leveling and the smoothening of land surface called gradation include both is a deep gradation and is gradation there is a most important short point here a leveling and smoothening of the land surface is called gradation there is a two type degradation and as gradations the weathering of the land surface of erosion is called degradation the weathering of the land surface erosion is called degradation and rising of filling up to depression by deposition is called is aggradation there is the most important